Hey guys, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a celebration or happy birthday filter like this in the Spark AR Studio with a graphic above the head, a frame and also with some confettis which came falling from the top to the bottom. And you can also turn off and on those confetti. So just follow along this tutorial and you will end up with a filter like this. You can use your own graphics for the for this and also for the frame or you can use mine. You can just download them in the description. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's create this celebration filter here in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we have to do is to make sure that we have the graphics we want to use in our filter. I have created the graphics I want to use for this tutorial in Sketch. So here is the graphic above the head and this is the frame graphic. Um, yeah, you can create your own graphics in Illustrator, Photoshop, Canva or any other app you feel comfortable in. Um, yeah, using it to create the assets you want. But of course, if you don't have your own assets and you just want to follow along the tutorial, um, yeah, just go to the description. There will be a download link so you can download mine assets I have created here to follow the tutorial. So after you have created the assets, we can import them. So just go to your assets panel, click on the plus, then import and then from computer. Then just select the graphics you want to use and import them. Um, yeah. Those graphics are PNG files with a trans transparent background. Now I go to the compression settings of my texture and set the compression to none. So the first thing we will create here in the scene is the graphic above the head. For this we need a face tracker. So just go to your scene, click on the plus and search for face tracker. But it's also the first one here in the selection. Just click on insert. So after the face tracker is inserted, we need another object in our scene, a plane object. So again, click on the plus and search for plane and insert this as well. So now the plane isn't following our face. Um, yeah, to change this, go to your scene and drag and drop the plane object into your face tracker. So now the plane is following our face movement, but at the moment it has not the graphic on it we want. So for this, we have to create a material for our plane. So go to your assets panel, click on the plus and here create a new material. I will call this material graphic. Then just select the material and go to the right hand side to the material properties. First, set the shader type to flat. Now go down to the shader properties to diffuse and set the texture here to the graphic texture. Now go back to your scene, click on the plane, go to the right hand side and set the material to graphic. After you have done this, you will see the happy birthday in front of your face. But yeah, we want it above the face, so let's do this. And of course, a little bit bigger. So. When you have selected the plane, go to the right hand side and set the scale to about 2 or yeah, let's say 1.6 for X and Y. But of course you can choose your own size. Now we just have to put it a little bit up. So go to your position and set for the Y coordinate 0.12 here. That's, that's a great place. I will leave it here. So now we want to create our frame here in this filter. So for this we go to our scene and we have to create a new object. So click on the plus and now search for rectangle. So now I will just rename this rectangle to frame. Then as you can see here, here is the rectangle we have just created. We want to stretch it all over here the screen. For this we go to the right hand side when the frame object is selected and here we set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. So now it is yeah, stretching all over the face, uh, face all over the screen, but you can see the yeah, plane is making um, yeah, weird things here above our head. To get rid of this we go to the graphic material, then we go to the right hand side then we open the advanced render options and here we yeah, turn off the use death test and write to death. So now it is behind um, our 
our frame. That's great. When we want in front of it, we just have to move the canvas object above the face tracker. And now you can see it is in front of. So, but I want the face tracker above the frame. So now we have to create a new material for the frame as well. So go to your assets, click on the plus and again, create a new material. I will call this material frame. Then go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now go down to texture and here select the frame texture. And one last step, go to your scene, select the frame object, go to the right hand side and set the material to frame. So and here do the same with the material, select it and, and turn off the advanced render option. So now we have created the um, um, yeah, happy birthday above our head and also the frame. Now we also want some confetti which comes from above um, yeah, and give the um, filter a more celebration look. So let's create some confettis here. For this we need a particle system. So again we go to our scene, click on the plus and here we search for particle system. So just insert it and then you will see this emitter here in the middle of the screen. But of course we want it from the top to the bottom. So let's change this. So select your emitter and go to the right hand side to the emitter properties. The first thing we will do is to set the emitter type from point to line. Now it is stretching, but of course we want it to have it the whole width of the screen. So let's set this length to 0 0.5. Free. This is about the length of the screen. So the next step is that we change um, the rotation of our emitter. So at the moment it is emitting upwards, but of course we want it to emit downwards. So let's um, yeah, turn this around. For this we have to change our rotation value here at the transformations. So just set the Y from 0 to 180 and now it is still emitting upwards. This was the uh, wrong um, axis. Let's try it with the set axis. Yeah, just changes to change it to 180. So now it is emitting downwards. So the next step is that we yeah set it here on the edge of the screen. So just go to the positions um, to the transformation position and set the y to let's say 0 0.25. And as you can see it here, it is on the edge of the screen. But yeah, at the moment it stops here. Of course, we want it that it emits all the way down. So go to the emitter properties all the way down to particle and here set the lifespan to let's say five. So yeah, now it is emitting all the way down. So before we change any other settings here at the emitter, let's make this more colorful. For this we will create a new material and of course we will have three um, colors but let's start with one. So the first color will be red so I will change the name of my material to red. Go to the shader type, set it to flat, no this time we set it to um, standard or physically paste. Um, you can play around with this, I will choose physically paste. Then I will set the color to red and then I will go to my emitter in the scene, select it, go to the right hand side and then for the materials I select the red material and now you can already see that the emitter is red. The moment it doesn't look like real confetti so let's change this. So we already here at our yeah, emitter properties and yeah I want to that they are yeah, turning around, have different sizes. So let's start with the different sizes, go down to particle and set the scale to, yeah, you can leave it at 0.01, but for me they are too big a little bit, so I will set it down to 0.07 and the percentage says, um, yeah, the differenti differentiation between the, the scale. So I will set it to, let's say 50%, so some of them are 0.0035 or some of them are also have the scale of 0.015 
and all in between. So as you can see now, they have different sizes. They are a little bit too fast. So let's change the speed to 0 0.15 and also the birth rate. They are too many because then we have different colors. Let's set it now to, let's say, six. So now they are still just, yeah, some planes falling down. So let's do some spinning. Um, so here the billboarding is turned off, uh, turned on, and I will turn it off. So I have, yeah, also this here. And now at the angular velocity, just play around. Um, I will set all the, the different axes to 100. 20 and now as you can see they are falling down and moving a little bit and at the, this this looks more real so now let's do different colors um, but before we do this you can see when they turn around they disappear at some point because this is we have to set the uh, material to double-sided so let's go down to the assets to the materials and go to red, to the red material, go to the right hand side. And here um, you can set the render options to double sided. And now this effect should be gone. Just in case, activate this. So now we want different colors. So now we just have to duplicate the emitter and also the materials. So we start with the materials. So I will just right click on the red and then just click on duplicate when you do this all the options you did are also duplicated as well so this will be the green one so i just rename it to green and set the color as well to green so and also another duplication um, i will this will be yeah blue also set the color to blue so now we just have a red emitter so let's duplicate the emitter as well. So go to your emitter. I will also rename this emitter to red. So I know which one is which. Then also right click on it and click on duplicate. And I will call this green. Select the green um, emitter. Go to the right hand side and here set the material to green. Now we have red and um, green confetti here on the screen. So again, do this for the blue one. Just duplicate this and rename it to blue. Now go to the right hand side and set the material to blue. So now when you want to change our emitter setting, you can do this by just clicking on emitter and change the setting or you can also um, yeah, select all three of them and then you can select, um, uh, you can change the settings all at once. So at the moment, some of them are a little bit too big for me. So I set down the scale to six and the percentage of the variation to 30. So um, now also the birth rate, a little bit too many. So I will set it to, let's say five. So there is one more option I want to add to this filter. So when I tap to the screen, I want that the confettis are gone. And when I tap again on the screen, I want that they are falling again. So for this, we have to do a little bit of programming in the patch editor. But before we do this, we select all three of our emitters. Then we go to the right hand side and here we extract the birth rate. So just click on the um, arrow next to birth rate and then you will find these three patches in the patch editor so the next thing we have to do is to get a few patches and the first patch of course is a screen tab patch then the next patch is a switch patch and the last patch we need here is a if then else patch so then we connect the screen tab the gesture state output with the flip input of the switch and then the on and off signal of the switch goes to the um, condition input of the if then else patch 
So now here at the if then else badge, we set the 10 to 5 and the else um, is at 0. And this is the number of the peripheral, as you can see, it's 5. And now we connect the output to the three yellow um, patches of our emitter. So and now we can just switch here to simulate touch. And when we tap on the screen, the confetti starts falling. And when you tap it again, it stops and yeah, just falls down to the last um, emitter uh, particle. We could also do this with the visibility, but then it just turns really on um, when you tap on it. So it just disappears and appears when it's um, when you tap again. But I think this with the birth rate looks more natural. So yeah, you can now play around with the emitter settings with the birth rate here. And yeah, at the moment when we restart the filter um, here, there is no confetti. If you want the confetti to fall when you start the filter, because now we have to tap to make them fall, um, you have to put in, in here a nut patch. So create a new patch, a nut patch, and then just connect the switch on and off output to the signal input and the reverse signal goes to the condition input. And now when you restart the filter, it's the confetti starts falling from the beginning. So yeah, just tap on it to stop it. And when you tap again, it starts again. So now we also need some um, text here in the middle, which says to the user that he can, he or she can tap on the on the screen to yeah, make some difference here in the filter. So for this, we need um, instruction. Um, so go to your scene, click on the device. Here at the instruction, click on plus. And here search for tap. And here you can um, have different instructions, tap to play, tap and hold, tap to play, um, tap to change. Yeah, I will just do here the tap to change text. So again, click on insert. Now with the device selected under its instructions underneath the plus, you can find the timed instruction just created. And this will appear randomly in the batch editor. So maybe you have to, <laughs> to search this um, instruction patch. Now for the option, we select our tab to change and for the duration, let's say five seconds. But now it isn't appearing because we need to trigger this here. And for this, I will use a start patch. So again, add a new patch and search for start. And then just connect the next output of the start patch with the show input of the timed construction. And when you now restart the filter, you can see here it says tap to change. And yeah, now you have successfully created a celebration filter, a happy birthday filter, a Merry Christmas filter, or whatever you want to create here. I hope um, this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be really nice when you subscribe to it. Yeah, when you have created a filter with this um, yeah, tutorial, yeah, would be nice when you send it to me so I can take a look at uh, what you have created with the help of this tutorial. Always nice to see your creation. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.